Hi, this is the second video about the Dynatorch Super B 4x4 table. I just wanted to touch on a few things that I found over the last few days during the, the configuration. Uh, grounding requirements, that's something you're going to have to really think about. Dynatorch will send you out detailed instructions on what's required for grounding the table and the electronics. It is a little bit complicated. You will need to install a ground rod and you'll have to have that done by a professional person or if you're very comfortable with it then you can obviously do it yourself. This is an example of a ground rod with the electrode connector at the top. This is a 10 foot one we had installed. We also threw in a, uh, a UPS. This is to filter out any spikes or surges or any noise coming along the lines to the sensitive electronics. I have the control software currently installed on a laptop but just a note, you will need a screen that's capable of displaying 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 I believe, so that the application displays correctly. So this is the first time we've powered up the system. We've got the control box switched on and the laptop is driving the X and Y axis. The servers are extremely quiet. The sound you can probably hear in the background is more like to be the fan that we have in the shop there, just blowing warm air around but it's, it's very, very quiet, very smooth. As I mentioned in the previous video, we plan to install a water table. The Dantorch frame already has those tabs already fitted, so you can just slide the table in. The slats will then go inside the water table, and the water should travel up about halfway of the slats, I'm, I'm kind of guessing. But I'll, I'll see as we, as we go along and install that. And again, I'll, I'll do a video detailing how we go about finishing that off. This is a torch height control. This is a servo driven motor that will control the height of the torch in relation to the work during the cutting process. I just want to show you the, uh, the breakaway torch. Uh, this is in case of collisions. You can see the torch just moves up out, and out of the way there. On the back side of this is five extremely strong magnets and they just click straight onto that plate at the back and snaps, snaps in nicely. We've already completed a few initial test cuts, but I just want to let you see the machine actually running. We're using a Hypertherm Powermax 45 with a machine torch on there, that's a 45M. In the next videos I'll go into more detail about the amperage we're using to count how many in inches per minute and the distance from the torch to the, to the work itself. If you'd like to see more then please subscribe and thank you very much for watching.